Hi there. This is image 6. We have a single bite wing radiograph and we'll review about microdontia. Earlier in the fall semester of D2 radiology interpretation course, we had learned about microdontia. So this is going to be a review and we will spend a few minutes on this video. On this bite wing radiograph, we'll review this particular tooth. Before that, let us review other teeth for which a bite wing radiograph is obtained. You may recall that there are two clinical purposes for a bite wing radiograph. One, proximal caries, and two, alveolar crest level. About proximal caries or status of proximal restorations, we can see overhang or defective restorations. Maybe we have a defective restoration on this tooth as well. The alveolar crest between the second premolar and the second molar is not horizontal. The first molar is missing. If we draw a line on the alveolar crest and draw an imaginary line between the CEG of these two neighboring teeth, these two lines are parallel. So there is no horizontal alveolar bone loss. Also see the density of the alveolar crest and the sharp angle. So the alveolar crest here is normal. Going back to this tooth, we see a small maxillary third molar or a supernumerary tooth. If we consider this to be a small third molar, it fulfills the criteria of a microdont. So the crown is small as well as the root is small. So there are different kinds of tooth size anomalies. The first is macrodontia or a large tooth and a microdontia which is a smaller than usual tooth. On our bite wing radiograph we saw that the third molar is smaller than usual. Here is an example of a macrodontia. On this panoramic radiograph, we see that these two central incisors are much wider than the lateral incisors. If you wonder that if this size discrepancy is due to positioning artifacts on a panoramic radiograph, if these two central incisors are too far palatal, that's not a correct diagnosis. If we compare the orthodontic brackets, they are the same size. So the crown and root of the central incisors are much larger than the lateral incisors or the mandibular incisors. So this would fulfill a diagnosis of a macrodontia. Macrodontia can happen in several teeth. Most common is the maxillary third molars as we have seen in our bite wing radiograph followed by maxillary laterals and then followed by maxillary premolars. The cause of size discrepancy of the teeth can be for several conditions. One is syndrome. There are several syndromes that can affect the size of a tooth. There may be non-syndromic developmental anomalies. Finally, radiation therapy to a child may also cause smaller than normal sized tooth. These are several papers that might interest you for further reading. Thank you very much and I'll see you with another video.